Welcome back to another quick installment of Julian's Random Projects. Uh, you join me in the little corner of the house that the daughter likes to use. And one of the things that she's really into, at least uh, lately, has been Legos. I just realized I'm using a different microphone, so apologies if my voice sounds a little different. So uh, Ellie got into Legos, and she's really good at uh, putting together. I mean, everyone kid thinks their kid's some kind of like genius or whatever, but uh, you know, for the most part, she's moved on to doing um, more complex stuff. Uh, of course, she still likes the other cool, fun, you know, cute Lego friends and Disney characters and stuff like that. So one of the things that I found interesting was that uh, she can get through the, some of these, um, let's find some of these complex ones. Like, uh, she understands how to go through and step by step, because that's what they lay it out pictorially. Like, you don't have to speak English to get through these, um, these instructions. It's, it's piece by piece. It's, it's like a, a bill of materials. They show you that what you're going to need for this step and then how to, how to do it. So once she learned what the rules were to assemble, you know, collect these pieces, assemble it like so, uh, she just sits and cranks on these things and then next thing you know you've got a full castle with accoutrement uh, for princesses and things and she has gotten really really good at that uh, she even built a more involved one uh, and like 95% of this she did by herself the only time uh, that she would need her dad's help was to come in with some of the you know the more fiddly bits or I want to say fiddly as in like too too small for her, for her tiny little fingers. And so I'd help with those. Uh, but boy, she would try her darndest to get it uh, before she got too frustrated to call me over. Uh, so truly, like you can you could go away and you know, be doing some yard work and come back in and like 40% more of Wally has been completed. It's, it's amazing. But what I noticed was that once she was done, when, when I would offer to play Legos with her, when I say uh, play Legos, like, you know, like, we did as children. She wasn't interested. Like she would play with the thing that she created for a little bit, uh, but then she would often like set it up somewhere and like as, as you know like an object to have, uh, not an object to play with. And I think that she understood the amount of work that went into creating it, and she didn't want to. She doesn't want to break it uh, or have to un undo some of that work and then redo it. And I was having a difficult time getting her to just like uh, free play or to uh, build something you know or like maybe uh, maybe take one of the princess's vehicles and make it a plane or something you know like make it an airplane by adding wings to it wasn't something she was taking to so in short what this video is about is how to combat that some of you watching this might have already known that you can buy Legos by the pound uh, on Craigslist and on auction sites and there's some folks that they find these at yard sales or they, they're clearing out their kids old cabinet or their old toy chest and they just want to get rid of it and so instead of sitting there going through and trying to put together all the pieces that would have been for one particular set uh, unless they were like OCD about it when they first got them and they've got them all binned. They're just going to be selling these things uh, by the pound. It is one of the best ways to get a kid started on on Legos to just free play. But I thought it might be fun to take a gander at what yeah, this is supposed to be about 13 pounds worth of Legos. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Try to catch some scale here. Let me see. Uh, I don't have a banana, but uh, you know, there's my hand. It's a big pile of Lego. I would have been pleased to have had something like this as a kid. So I'm hoping that in here we've got a couple fun gems and maybe some goofy knickknacks. Already looks like there's some half-built projects already in here, or sets that have been pulled apart. There's, there we go. Get those together. Um, a couple figurines I already saw just sit at the top earlier before we got started making this video. Wheels. This is another thing that was, um, she was asking for wheels. She wanted to, I was talking about, you know, that you could play by adding wings and wheels and, and stuff. And she reminded me that she didn't have a lot of wheels. <laughs> so instead of just, instead of just going on specifically going and buying uh, a, a chunk of wheels, I thought, why not get it by the poundage and see how many wheels we can get. Let's see, more little cars and just the right color. She loves purple. Let's see. Treasure chests. Empty, say it. 
couple figures. We'll put. It's definitely a mix. We got skulls and flower pots. Very eclectic. You guys just holler out if you see something good. Tiny cell phone for a Lego person. Too cute. I got these new Lego friends. Have you guys seen that? It's like the their attempt to reach a different market. Whoa! Windshields, very nice. Some foliage. Oh yeah, man, I'm very pleased with this. Now, you all know that I'm no stranger to throwing stuff in the dishwasher. Uh, another thing that you can do with these, is like put them in the top rack or put them in a colander of some kind and let the dishwasher run them. Just make sure that uh, you've got like a trap that it's not uh, so big that it'll let little pieces pass through. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can run these through like a sanitation or sanitizing wash uh, in the dishwasher. I probably won't. Let me look at these. I mean, these are very, very clean batch of Legos. Uh, there's no like grime or dirt on these things. So I might just hit them up with a quick spray of Lysol. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going through these and uh, show you some of the fun stuff that I found, maybe mostly just the figurines and maybe some of the, the oddball pieces that might be in here. Uh, but in general, I'm gonna give you guys a, a peek at what $60 worth of uh, Legos looks like. Way more Legos than you'd get in a $60 set of Legos. Uh, so dollars per smile, pretty high up here. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, wow, he's definitely overpaid for those. I know of a really cool source to get cheap, cheap Legos. Uh, you know, share the knowledge. Drop us a line in the, uh, down there in the description. Let us know, where do you get your Legos by the pound? I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt. And I'm hanging tough, over and out, over and out.